ankle biters, it's your boy Brill back to tell you another cool science adventure. You've probably heard about things called cycles. Cycles are things that go round, round, round like a record, baby. For instance, you have the water cycle. You had a boy cycle. You have a motor cycle. There's unicycle. There's the law cycle right there. There's the spin cycle. But to die, we're going to talk about the rock cycle. The rock cycle is really cool because it tells the story about how rocks can change from one type to another. Now, I'm sure you've heard of the three rock types, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Those three rocks can change into any other type of rock through natural processes deep inside the Earth's surface. Gnarly! Any rock can turn into an igneous rock if it is first melted and then cooled. Hot stuff, that! Can you believe that? Any rock can become a sedimentary rock if it is broken down by a process called weathering. Then the particles can erode, deposit, compact, and cement elsewhere. Cement you later. That's totally cool. Any rock can become a metamorphic rock if it experiences intense heat and pressure down inside the earth or in a mountain building episode. Gnarly! All these rocks make up the crust of our planet Earth. Rocks are always undergoing change, sometimes quickly, but usually pretty slowly. Rocks are a part of our world and are everywhere. Each one tells a story about our planet's long history. Our civilization is actually built upon rocks. They can even be comfy enough to take a much needed nap upon. This little guy has given this rock his seal of approval. My personal favorite rocks are metamorphic rocks. I appreciate how they can change under pressure. The igneous rock granite can turn into the metamorphic rock nice. That's pretty nice. Even metamorphic rocks can metamorphose. If you take the sedimentary rock shale, it can metamorphose into slate, which can then metamorphose into fillite, which can then metamorphose into a rock called shears. The sedimentary rock sandstone can metamorphose into a rock called quartzite. Whoa! Blimey! Now, the most important thing I want you to remember is this. It's not nice to take schist for granite. <laughs> Well, that's all we've got for you to die. I hope you enjoyed our exploration of the rock cycle. Join me next time as we encounter another wonderful science type adventure.